cube sugar. And I'm gonna get the little the thing to, the tong to pick it up and Oh, how cute. Oh, are you gonna, wait, are we gonna get like a little glass jar? Yeah, we are. Oh, <gasps> that's so cute. I love it. Oh, it's so cute. All right. I've been threatening to get it forever. <clears throat> Here we go. Hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. Welcome to the vlog. It's hey, Dia. Yosman. Yosman. See your angry face in the background? I can see your angry face in the background, mommy. Are you? Squish. Squish. Dia. Squish. Yes? Squish. Squish. I'm squishing your face right now. Squish. <laughs> okay, I'll give you. I don't sound like that. <laughs> Newbie's just a bully. Don't listen to her. What do you mean? I'm a 50-year-old smoker. Huh? <laughs> Here you go. Um, ready? Here we go. Ready? Hey. <clears throat> Too late. You've been kicked out of your spot. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh, welcome to a vlog. It's Yasmin. Do you guys sound like Yasmin? <laughs> Freaking newbie. She's so this is why I don't like my children. <laughs> Especially well that one. It's that one, sorry. That one drives me nuts. She's a bully. She bullies her own mother. Anyway, welcome to the vlog. How do you wake up this morning in the morning hearing somebody argue? But I did wake up this morning to my electricity being turned off. Again? Yeah. Electricity was shut off. Well, it didn't it, it wasn't shut off by anybody physical. It was uh but you know that's what I thought the minute like she's even wrong. Um, the house is old, so the trips gets tripped sometimes. So you just go down the basement and you turn it back on. Half the kitchen, cause the the little Christmas lights that I have hanging in the kitchen still like forever, they were still on. So I was like, oh, okay, obviously it's just it was tripped again. Don't know what tripped it. It's cold. The house is old. Ugh, stuff like that, right? What else happened? Uh, do you have your coffee or something? Because here I go talking it raw first thing in the morning. What's going on? Anyway, I didn't brush my teeth or anything. I just woke up, washed, washed my face barely because I just put a whole a warm rag over it that's still laying on my nightstand. Somebody come hold this uh, that I put on my nightstand that's still sitting there. Well, what you got? Um, coffee. No, you don't. Sit down. You don't drink coffee. We're having talk. I told Daniel that it's time for Aria to get out of our bed. Okay. The reason why I told Daniel it's time for me to get her to get out of bed is because she's. By the time you see this, she'll be four months old. Um, and she still sleeps on his chest. I love because that should have been done. You know what I mean? You know when they first come home from the hospital, this is how the babies sleep on your chest because that's, you know, they're babies. And sometimes they need to feel that closest to you, right? So I told him that she needs to get out of our bed. Okay, so he puts a the Moses basket. If you've never seen the Moses basket, that thing's huge. I'll show you in a minute. He puts it in our bed and he sleeps with it in the middle of our bed right here. So I'm over here, she's here, and Daniel's here, right? So he puts her there, that's how he sleeps for the night. So okay, you, we need to get a stand. So, because I need her like literally out of my bed. I'm tired of her being in my bed, right? So he's like, I'm telling the kids that I think he has separation anxiety. Separation, how do you say that? Separation thing? anxiety. Thank you. Did you say separation issues? Isn't it issues? No. Separation anxiety, and that I think it stems from her being the NICU so she was born, and then her us being in the hospital after, right after that. So she went to the NICU. If you don't know the backstory, after she was born at 34 weeks, she went to the NICU for two weeks. And after she came out of the hospital, I went to the hospital for my heart failure, and then well, postpartum cardiomyopathy, and then um, she had to stay here while he was with me at the hospital, right? Okay, so that's how that went down. That was only four days, but still, it took a traumatic toll because it was back to back. So we didn't really get to bond that time. So Daniel would come home and bond with her, and she would sleep on his chest and whatever. So I tell, after I tell the kids, I think he has separation anxiety. I'm explaining to him why I think what I just told you, why I think he he has separation anxiety. He's over there like separation anxiety. I don't know what you're talking about. As he's rolling her bassinet from the side of my bed, shoving it onto his side of the bed, like it's not. It's so he's shoving it so hard that my bed's moving so that he can get that bassinet right next to it. So he's like separation anxiety. I don't know what you're talking about. As he's shoving it next to his side of the bed, he's not letting me have her. Oh no, he's gonna put her. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. When I had Leah, after I had Leah, she was. She just slept in my bed until she was three years old. And I had the worst separation anxiety. But did Daniel care? No. He brutally snatched that child out of our bed and put her back. 
to me it was brutal because I my baby was being ripped from my arms Dude, as he's thing. like bad. Oh shoot. This is the this is where is it? Oh, she's through this way. Yeah. So this is the thing he had sleeping next to us. Look, y'all. Between me and my husband of 24 years. Is that good for anybody's relationship? I ain't touched my husband in months. I mean, I don't want to touch him right now because I don't want to get pregnant. I ain't playing these games. I ain't playing these games. But you know what I mean? I don't mind snuggling up against him. I don't mind feeling his um, warm skin next to mine. I don't mind him, somebody breathing on me because, okay. you know, he's sleeping. Just you, me, and this Moses Vesky you <laughs> built between us. <laughs> So anyway, this Moses goes, but you'll be picking back over there. Right. It goes to the stand. It goes inside the other bassinet. <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna know why? I know it's ghetto looking, right? Is it ghetto looking? It's ghetto looking. I mean, it's just tuck the, the, the side. Tuck the side so it doesn't look too bad. My child has a preference. I always said this baby is super expensive. She likes the expensive things. Same. She, she does. She's, she's, the girl is expensive. She loves the Huggies diapers. She, her formula has to be it's really top notch um, and it's not because I'm doing it I'm trying to get her into the cheaper stuff because you know she was just easier um, what are the, the bassinet that ba the the, Moses, the bassinet was 50, 50 bucks right uh -huh. the Moses bassinet was 100 something I didn't buy it don't worry about it my sister bought it it was a gift uh -huh. um, but then I take the Moses basket she loves that Moses she won't sleep in the bassinet she only sleeps in the Moses basket the, she loves sleeping and she won't her stroller she likes the basket part of it. You know what I mean? She will not. She's the car seat. She's cool with, but she'd rather be in that basin, basin that part. She's a little girl. She's a little. She's a little highbrow. She's a little highbrow, but we love her. Oh, I hope you get your coffee because you know I talk you to death. Put mm -hmm. in her arm. Well, we're having our morning Animal Crossing session. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sad because I have no tea. Um, I have tea, but there's no sugar. So, do we all know what happens when you drink tea without sugar? You in the bathroom have a special meeting? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you. We're gonna vlog today, so obviously we're vlogging today. Hi, mm -hmm. welcome to the day in the life. It's Yasmin. Bye. There we go. Doing baby laundry. Yippee. School band. band. Their feet are instead, but otherwise, no, they, they're good. Hey, we're uh, we just we're coming from the track. We're going home now because schools started appearing out of nowhere. One school is doing their class walking for fitness. Oh, fudge. One school was doing their class walking for fitness. What you said? And then the school band came. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so now we're leaving. We're going home. Yeah, we're tired. Yeah. But we did get out walking though. Yeah, we sure did. I'm not sure you guys know, but we typically walk twice a week. Yeah. Unless it's really cold. Yeah. Which has been because we live near the mountains. Yeah. We mean really cold. We mean really cold because we went walking in 52 degree weather. So. Oh yeah, that's right. We kind of walked yesterday. Yeah. But I wasn't feeling well, so. Yeah. Gotta take a break sometime. Yeah. So uh, you know. We're going up. Hey, we got, there's a hill, you guys. There is a hill. There's a better hill than this. But this hill literally makes my butt, it makes my butt nice and tight. Uh -huh. So find a hill so you can make that sculpture, get that sculpture. Careful. Also, I clinch my butt cheeks a lot. Oh. Sorry, I'm not sure if that's personal. Uh -huh. But I'm trying to build, you know, once I had the baby, all my muscles went. That includes the butt muscles. So I started feeling flabby. So immediately after I had the baby, I started crunch, like squeezing your butt muscles. Mm -hmm. I do, I've been doing that for years. So that's an easy way to build a butt. You could be sitting on your couch eating popcorn and squeezing your butt cheeks together. Mm -hmm. It works. Trust me, I've been doing it for years. Yeah. So as soon as she was born, I was saggy. 
And I told Dia, remember I told you? Yeah. It worked. She's back, she's back. She's still a little, little looser than I like, but we gonna get there. It's funny because I'm more worried about my butt cheeks than I am my stomach. Mm. Which is weird because most people focus on their stomach. Yeah. Do you press the button? But since I have a big one. Press the button. Press it. You don't want that thing sagging. You see what I'm saying here? That's nasty. All right, we can go home. Okay. Here we are. What the is this? The table. That's turkey burgers. Oh, is it? The Delicious. Huh? No, those are butterball. <laughs> butterball has less sodium. Butterball has less sodium? Yeah. Okay, great. Because Jenny, you know Jenny owns my jam, right? Jenny owns. So we got some, yeah, they're uh, they're vegan oh. turkey burgers. Yeah, they're really good. Vegan? Yeah, they're vegan. Be but they're really good, though. Um, <laughs> Mommy, I hate to tell you this, but turkey burgers cannot be vegan. Yeah, they can. No. Please. Turkey's meat. Vegetarian? No, that's not it either. Maybe it's a fake. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> okay. All right, so then we have um, toothpaste. Toothpaste, very nice. Yeah. We have some formula because we need it. We have to get another one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What the heck is this? Tampons. Tampons. Oh please. Everyone mm -hmm. on this channel. Well, most of the people on this channel have a vagina. Tampon. Why is the box so small? Have they always been this small? No. Yeah. Get them from like. Um, Anyway, BJ's. sorry. We have to get BJ's there. Mm -hmm. Um. Somebody else come do this. Okay. We've we have got two. Two four. as well. Four deodorants. Four small deodorants. Yeah. yeah. Well, we need to be the. So this is dishwashing liquid. Yep. We need that. Mm -hmm. We have milk. This is water. Wa uh, water. Mm -hmm. What is this water? Yeah. Oh, two waters. Right? Yeah. Two waters. Okay. Got uh, ice cream right there. Back here is ice cream. Ice cream. And got some and shells and cheese. cheese. That's for dinner tonight. Got broccoli. You get my razor for joy. Oh yeah, my happy. And we have broccoli for dinner as well. Mm -hmm. And yes. cucumbers. And a cucumber. That's Cute a small cucumbers. haul. That's what we got today. Well, that's a lot. It's our second, you know, second run. Yeah. Today. Mm -hmm. We didn't show you the first one, but yeah. King's running around naked again. You can't film me because I look like Doo Doo. Stop. Look at Doo Doo, baby. What do you mean? Please don't turn the camera this way because King is. No, he's good. Running around his tiny way. Have... Yeah, he's got boxers on the green. <laughs> Why did I disclose that information? That was unnecessary. You didn't need to know, you didn't know, need to know that, but now you do. Do you? He still. Oh. Yeah, I he pulled them down. <laughs> he pulled them down. Do you mind closing his door? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. He's, uh, I mean, at least they match his outfit. Yeah, of course. I always have to do that. Yeah, oh, that's why he was wearing green underwear because his night clothes playing. All right, you ready? Don't take credit for that. I did that. I did that. No, I didn't. I did not. I did not. Close okay. the door. Here you go, mommy. I did not. I don't know. I'm seasoning. Um, obviously, you know, we're back. <laughs> We're having built to have dinner um, because what happened was, do you want to know what happened? We were shocked and surprised by our own day. You know when you're shocked and surprised by your own day? Um, we were shocked and surprised. You know when you don't expect something? That it, I'm just going to turn this way. And then the unexpected happens. That's what that's what happened to us. We got unexpected uh, visitors. Huh? So I had to rush and clean my house because you know I don't like the way I walk in my house dirty. I don't care how small it is. I don't care. It's got to be clean and looking decent, right? Mm -hmm. I don't care. Um, but yeah, we did that. Then obviously, you know, we're we're back. We came with further our walk and we're back. Uh, I had a turkey burger for dinner. I mean, well, no, that was for lunch. But that was my breakfast, lunch, brunch because I didn't eat anything until two o'clock. So I guess in a way, I guess I'm doing intermittent fasting. So. Anyway, I don't know. Listen, I'm also gonna change my sheets. I was supposed to do that this morning, but then people came and I realized that my sheets, look, the sheets I have on it now, you know, they look better than the sheets that I had before. You know, that I was getting ready to put on the new ones. So I just left the old ones on there, right? So now I gotta go rip those old ones off and put them in the washing machine. And I was supposed to do laundry, but never got to that. We did the baby's on laundry, but we didn't get to our own laundry. So I guess I'll do that tomorrow before we leave out to go out with Daniel, because he's off tomorrow. And you're watching this tomorrow. You're watching this tomorrow. <laughs> yes, and the day that you're watching it, current present day, it's now Monday, but you're watching this on Tuesday. Yes. Okay, what are we talking about here? I, I, you're going to film, he's going to film himself cooking. And I'm going to go film myself in doing my bed. So when you see those two separate clips, they're filmed at the same time. In doing my bed. Amazing. <laughs> well, I didn't say, did I say something wrong? Do you want a newbie's pork chop, Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Yes, yeah. too. 
Yeah. So I'm gonna be making doing my room, cleaning, making my bed, and then shading my bed sheets. Excuse me. And then Dia's gonna be cooking, and we're just gonna have cameras on us. I was filming at the same time, so that's how that's done. What is that? Big brother. All right, let me go. Pasta's done and toes the corn. It's just chilling there. I'm about to put this cheese in it right here. A hey. mommy's coming through. Irritated as all get up. Be like that. Cuss, right? Yeah. I know the feeling. Mm. And then the pork chop is still in here. I've got to flip it. You guys, separation anxiety. He will not put her down. They will put her down. He's trying to make the bed with me one handed. This is sad, Bubby. You should be ashamed of yourself, Bubby. What do you have to say for yourself, Bubby? No shame. So what about when Aaliyah was a baby? You brutally ripped her from my arms. Brutally ripped her from my arms and said, oh, she needs her own bed. Like, oh, it's okay for you. Aaliyah was just literally a baby. She could have walked and talked. She was three. But I still had the same separation anxiety because I had her since she was three and since she was born in my bed. Yeah, she was sleeping in my bed since she was three. So you just decide, oh, that's it, and really ripped her from my bed when I would never let her come back. You never let her come back. I feel like that's cool. You never let her come back. She come back in all the Yeah, and you used to shoo her back out. Depends on the time. Anyway, Alexa, play. Come with me and we be out of sight, out of mind. Driving windows down with your head in mind. Out of sight, out of mind, out of sight, out of mind, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. Driving windows down, we could take our time. Out of sight, out of mind, out of sight, out of mind, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. Maybe you could keep me happy, but you've been on the road. Oh, I've never needed love so badly. I'm feeling so alone. And you know that I've been often dreaming of having you around. But my life is so complicated. I don't want to bring you down. I just want to be free from the free. Feel love for the first time. I just want to love something about me. See something to open my eyes. Don't want to be the only one with the house key. Have something I'm proud of. I wish we were living in my dreams. Cause in another world, you'll come with me and we'd be out of sight, out of mind. Driving windows down with your head in mind. Out of sight, out of mind. When I'm dreaming of you here. Never lonely. 
Right, that's it for the night uh thanks for joining us in this video i don't know what's happening all day but it was a crazy busy day for us i'm not sure if it came that way oh i don't what was the thing i'm not sure that if it, it came out that way on camera um but it was a crazy busy day all right uh thanks for watching what do you put down below the running emoji why because we're oh i like that the running emoji because we was frantically running around today so I'll leave a comment, obviously, and put the run emoji. And you guys, if you finished, made it to the end of the video, put the run emoji. Love you as always. See you in the next one. Bye, girl. Bye.